Hey guys, this is Natash, and we're gonna finish getting back to where I was in Tesla Effect. Now, this is kind of a change of plans, because my initial idea was I was gonna do this live. However, I rewatched my old videos on this, and I came to a couple of realizations. First off, the Samsung Go mic is not nearly as good as I remember it being. But the second is that there's only half an hour between where I stopped the live event and where I am right now. So, with that in mind, I can't really justify starting a whole new live event for half an hour of gameplay. And after this, the rest is going to be just fully pre-recorded, so I figure now that we've seen what the game is like just total, and keep in mind, I'm not going to be skipping past the dialogue sections in the full story, I'm just skipping by the stuff we've already seen. Now, I can do this in a way that's going to cut out some of the dead air. So, let's get right to it, shall we? The name Margaret Leonard for Bowers. Okay. It looks like Margaret Leonard is going rogue. What should I do? I actually... I think I might have missed that. That is just for some reason it seems new to me. I'm sure these MRI pictures are showing me something. It looks like a person. And that's a lot of fingers. Well, it's a microscope. And you'd need one of these just to see Rook's sense of humor. This cabinet needs a three-digit code to open. Mm -hmm. Three-digit code. Gotta be something about that here. Um, I drilled a hole in my skull. I was awake, and it hurt a lot. For fuck's sake, that is the third train in half an hour. Holy shit. Uh, no, wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Shit, okay. Well, I wonder what's on this little device. Okay, Bowers' is memory sick. So there's gotta be something here. Uh, you need a peak. Nice dial work. If I found a flash drive, I could connect it to the video screen. Oh, there we go. Long lasting memories are created through a process of consolidation, which is based on the formations of protein in the brain. Thus, memories particularly painful ones, are formed by these unstable proteins, making them easily identifiable and removed with a combination of drugs and behavior therapy, ensuring memory elimination. Of course, there are those who do not believe that the benefits of memory modification outweigh the risks. They warn that eliminating memories, one could significantly alter a person's personality, their history. Oh, huh. fancy device that wipes your memories, hmm? Useful technology. I see applications for anyone who ever went out with you or read the Twilight Zone. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, it's late, it's late at night. I shouldn't be laughing that loud. <laughs> oh, God, shots fired. <laughs> so hard. Long-lasting memories oh, are wait. created through a process of consolidation. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to be finding, like, legit new stuff, so I'm gonna have to do a last time on Tex Murphy. So there's gotta be something around here somewhere that actually relates to that, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm supposed to find it. Ah, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Did I find that? 
I don't actually remember. Okay, so I'm gonna just go with the assumption that I didn't solve that in my first run through, and I just went home. I mean, I didn't find any solutions, so... I better drop by the barbecue joint and see how that dweeb Mojo's doing. Maybe he's decrypted that memory stick. Yeah, about time, too. I need a new lead on this case. Mm-hmm. What's up? So, your memory stick's all ready to go. Now, what do you give me for it? Um... What are you talking about? I thought we were partners in any crime. You think I'm gonna solve your case for free just because you're my idol? No, the great Tex Murphy wouldn't lift a finger without compensation. Neither will I. Well, yeah, let's go with that. I'm going to offer you a very special junior detective badge. I don't want some stupid little orphan Annie ring. I want a memento from one of your cases. Something one of a kind. Um, I'll go with skeptical. How do I know what's on the memory sticks even worth anything? You know how your cases always have a hundred loose ends, and you need that one missing piece to tie it all together. Uh, bewildered. Where do you find this stuff out? I saw that was a choice I made. One missing piece, Mr. Murphy. You need this. Mm. Empty pockets, yeah, I think, was. All that action figure, so now what? Do you remember that sicko who was going around with a liquid nitrogen freeze gun, shooting people and then smashing them? Press called him the Nitro Stalker. You got involved, and the cops finally found him a few weeks later, smashed into a million pieces. Hmm. And then this one was dawning. Damn. I really am a badass. Everybody knows you were behind that bit of freeze dried justice. The freeze gun was never found, and I'm betting you took it. I'll trade you the memory stick straight up for it. Ah, uh, you win. I'll see what I can do. Uh, freeze gun. Don't know. Well, that helped. Well, the freeze gun. Okay. The one you pawned that supposedly belonged to the Nitro Stalker. I believe it was purchased by one of those vigilante Morlock hunters. Okay, there's a new lead. I think that was... Yeah, I think that's the thing. Alright. Combine slot one, slot two. I guess luck counts for something. And there we go. I already know I need that for later. And I spent a bit of time just wandering around, not finding it. And it's right here. Yeah. Oh Lord, we beseech thee, give us strength, courage, protection. I don't think they're gonna need to use protection. Hail, fellow countrymen. We are ready to begin our quest. Hunting the dreadful night beast. Make haste. Sorry, Tex, we gotta run. Farewell, Sir Larry Curly and all. I'll be sure to tell Snow White you're gonna be late for breakfast. You're mixing your references, dude. Ooh, this place is cool. It's a key to a padlock. Mm hmm The half-life of Weenie World Burgers is I at remember. least 20 years. I remember. It was just silly. Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Did someone leave these on? Because they look like they're on. Because. Yep. Because. That was specifically the key to a padlock. Hey look, there's a padlock. Not the same key. Instead, it's, um... Up there. As that almost hits me in the face. Just another slow climb up a ladder. Okay. I don't know why I did that yet. Well, there's a man looking pooch behind this gate. 
do that first. And zipline trolley. That is one demonic dog. Oh yeah, yeah. Head to the, open up that. No way. A breeze gun? This is definitely your coolest case ever. No pun intended. With freeze guns, the puns are always in. Nah. Can't zip line back. Hmm. For some reason, I'm remembering there was a thing that came up about that. You got it, didn't you? The Nitro Stalker Freeze Gun. So cool. My yep. group is gonna be so jealous. Oh, internet groups get jealous over everything. Uh, for morning, I think that was. Fine. I'll tell you what. You say one word about this to anybody, and I'll deflate the tires of your wheelchair. I'm in enough trouble with the cops. Fine. Oh, okay. I won't say anything. Threatened by Tex Murphy. <laughs> this is so cool. Merry Christmas. Okay. So I got the thing now. We may only get one chance, Carlos, so I wanted to go over the plan one more time. If Margaret shows up at the Ritz, call me immediately. If I'm delayed, detain her. We have to assume she won't give up the egg voluntarily, but I want to talk to her first. You know why I've given you the cryo chamber. But that has to be the very last resort. And if anything happens to me, I'll need you to contact a friend of mine. Keep it safe until I retrieve it. Well, it sounds like Mason and Margaret had a major disagreement. I need to locate both of them and get to the bottom of this. I decide to head back to my office to sort things out. Why did I get in my car for that? I'm right next to the office. It's like right across the street. Hey, cowboy. Any memories coming back yet? Not so far, but something tells me I might be missing out on some really good ones. That's solid detective work. So... Were we... dating? Dating? Oh, that's so cute. I guess you can call it that. But we were also... Working together in a more professional capacity. Well, now my detective and they were fuck buddies. Picking up a little sarcasm. Uh, seriously, cowboy, you're good. I've learned a lot working with you the past couple weeks. Hmm? Let me get this straight. Uh, you and I were working on a case together. Do you mind telling me about that? Not at all. You wanted a list of tenants here at the Ritz, as far back as I could go. Why would I do that? It was your dreams. They were vivid before, but they were getting out of control. It's almost like they were changing you into someone else. You talked about seeing things from the past, but you wouldn't give me details. You were incredibly stressed. It was like you actually believed this apartment was haunted. You even started looking into psychometry. Psycho what? Psychometry. It's the belief that an object can contain a person's energy or memories. So, not only am I an amnesiac, but I'm a paranormal idiot. Great. Sounds crazy, I know. But then we found out about Donnelly. Who? J.T. Donnelly. It was the most bizarre thing. I'd heard you mention the name in your sleep. But then his name turned up when I checked out the previous tenants. So who is this guy? He's a private investigator, a real old school brute. He worked for some powerful, influential people, but then he disappeared around 1943. His last known address was here. San Francisco? No, here, at the Ritz in this exact apartment. Okay, that's a little bizarre. It gets bizarrier. You call me one night, raving like a lunatic, saying the walls were talking. I rushed over and found holes smashed in the wall, and you curled up on the floor in a ball. Well, I'm glad to hear I haven't changed that much. 
You wouldn't tell me what had happened. But after that, you wouldn't sleep here. That's when you got your new place and started to sleep there. Hold on. I have another place? Yes, you do. And it's even nicer than here. This is all crazy. I think I'm gonna sleep here tonight just to see whether it affects me in the same way. Do you want some company? Listen, Taylor, um, I'm beginning to see what the other me saw in you. But in my head, it's still 2043. I've got to tell you, there was somebody else. Chelsea, I know. I know how much she meant to you, Tex. Losing her was traumatic as hell for you. But she's gone. And there's nothing you can say or do or don't do that's gonna bring her back. Do you feel that? I sure do. I'm alive. And that's my heart. It's yours if you want it. And it comes with all the other bits. Um, and this one, if I remember, it was stay true to Chelsea. I'm sorry, Tater, but I love Chelsea, and I never even got the chance to tell her. And if there's any chance that I can find her, I've got to do it. I hope you'd understand. I don't understand, Tex. Why can't you let this go? It's crazy. That room you have across the hall with all our stuff, it's like some sick... Chelsea Shrine. I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna go. Six hours later, the rain was finally letting up. Last night felt like a blindside punch to the face. I didn't think having Taylor walking out of my office could be so painful. There's just something reassuring and comfortable about her, but I've got way too many questions, yearnings, and guilt not to find out what happened to Chelsea. Even if it kills me, I've got to know. There's something darker than the night I'm dealing with, and it hinges on what happened that evening seven years ago with her. As Taylor leaves, she hands me the key to a room at the Ritz. She calls the Chelsea Shrine Room. Well, that didn't go the way I planned. So, I am way to mess things up here. The continuity got a little messed up. That's not right. Oh, wait. So, when she said across the hall. What she actually meant was not across the hall. Down the hall. It's Chelsea's business card for her newsstand. I didn't have the heart to tell her the print is dead. I remember this thing was $14.99. Man, I spent an entire three months salary on a ring for Chelsea. Chelsea always looked great in hats. A reminder of the best and worst night of my life. Oh, well, that's got to be a fire hazard. Chelsea loved it uh -huh. in Arizona. I'd like to think I was the only thing keeping her here on Chandler Avenue. I think I fucked up. I... Of all the skills Chelsea had, one in particular comes to mind. Oh my... It. Okay, so anyway, I think I might have screwed something up, because last time I was somewhere where I was going to get, last time I was somewhere where I was going to get answers. Well, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. 
Now, I don't even know where that was. Thank you.